Hello my people, hello. Hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Mother of Peace tutorial. So today I am offering a math lesson on comparing using greater than, smaller than and equal. We are going to compare numbers by identifying which number is bigger and which number is smaller. So, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, my method or the strategy that I use, I call it monkey see, monkey do. Monkey see, monkey do is a method uh, whereby even you parent at home, a guardian can help your child. Uh, it's a, it's a, a, a simple method. Every time when I offer lessons, I try by all means, I break it uh, into simpler form so that uh, you can even take your child through easily without any problem. So we are going to compare the numbers. This lesson is for standard 2, standard 3, and standard 4. And uh, all the beginners. The beginners are my favorites. All those children uh, who uh, maybe we call them slow learners. This is the reason why I came up with this monkey see, monkey do. So that I help them to understand better. Okay. So for the beginners, when you introduce this lesson, uh, let me say you have a problem or maybe your child can't understand how you 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 how you tell that uh, four is bigger than three there are some kids who really can understand and when the child sees the numbers like this and say which number is bigger they'll just pick any number because they don't understand so for the beginners when you introduce this lesson start with the number line show the child the number line the number line, it uh, helps actually because the numbers are arranged in order. The numbers are arranged in order. So the child is going to, maybe it's going to be simple for a child actually to identify smaller number and bigger number because the numbers are arranged uh, orderly, like from zero and upward. So when you introduce this lesson to your child, like, let me say, come here and they say, Ch child, tell me which number is bigger uh, uh, between three and four. So what you're going to do here, you're going to show the child the number line and then you count it together. First, you have to count together. Then from zero, you just count with the child. Zero, one, two, three, then you go. Okay. And then you go again. You tell the child, okay, Nana. So each number that comes first from the number line is the smaller number and the number that comes second is the bigger number okay let's go back to our question it says compare three and four and then you come back to your number line remember we are i'm talking about the beginners or uh the yes the beginners the slow learners so you're going to count remember you, you you told the child that the number that comes first is the smaller okay and the number that comes second is the bigger and then you're going to do every time when you uh, come to that number, you stop and you circle it. Zero, one, two, three. Uh -huh. And then you're going, to say, you're going to circle that number. Remember, we are comparing three and four. Okay. Let's go again. My, my, my girl or my boy, you're talking to the child. Zero, one, two, three four and then you circle it and then you that's when now you ask a child which number came first from the number line and the child will identify it easily is three so which means if the number comes first is what is the smaller number and the number that comes second is the bigger number now let's go to uh, our question and then you identify which number is bigger between three and four. And the child will easily identify four as a bigger number. Now here you are going to put either greater than, smaller than, or equal. If the number is bigger, you put uh, greater than. 
And uh, normally, uh, when I uh, explain more about this science, I'll just tell the child that when you compare the uh, uh, the this sign, I call it is a crocodile mouth. So crocodile is going to swallow or is going to eat the bigger number. So the mouth should open to the bigger number because the crocodile is very hungry. It wants to eat what? Bigger things, which means all big numbers. Those are the numbers that the crocodile really enjoys and uh, they, they, it really likes them so that it can be satisfied or it can be full and go and sleep, okay? So now let's come here. So now the crocodile is going to eat the bigger number. So which one is the bigger number? Remember our number line? The number that comes first is smaller and the number that comes second is bigger. So now identify Th between three and four and the child will say okay it's four now let the crocodile eat the bigger number and the, ch the child will easily the mouth will open to the bigger number and then it will swallow the big number which is four okay then we go again let's take this one same applies to this one if you uh taught the child this uh, method or this concept if the child actually grasped it well the child is not going to have a problem with comparing numbers and then we say okay nana let's go now it's nine and ten go to the number line you have to identify nine and ten and then you tell which number i came first and which number came second and the child will just go along zero one two three four five six seven eight Nine, and then the child will circle it. Remember, this lesson is for the beginners. And then it is ten. Some they can just identify by looking at the numbers without counting, and then the child will circle it. And then, and then you say, okay, which number came first? Is nine. And then, uh, which number came second? Is ten. Which means which one is the bigger? Is ten. Okay. Remember the crocodile now. The crocodile wants the big meat. It's 10. You see? It's very simple. And then now let's get uh, to this, uh, to the other, uh, like, bigger numbers. Some of my parents called me, some sent me messages. The teacher, how can my child really understand when it comes to Bigger number. Bigger number meaning like maybe the numbers with two uh, digits, with uh, three digits. See? So what you have to do uh, is very simple. What you do, you just say, this is 13, huh? and then this is 24. How many digits this side? They are two. And then how many this side? They are two also. So what you have to do, just tell the child, okay, Nana, now we are going to do, you know, uh, I, I once taught you guys about uh, uh, place value. Place value, like uh, this is standard two, three, and four. Standard, uh, you did hundred, tenths, and units, isn't it? Hundred tenths and units. Hundred uh, numbers, they have how many digits? Three tens, they have two, and then unit is one. Okay, uh, then in the standard fours, we have thousands. When the number has four digits, is in thousands form and hundred, three tens, two, unit one. Okay, so now you are going to compare using those tens. For example, this is 13 and 24. The child is going to identify first the first number. Just ask the child, okay, underline the first number on your left and the first number on your right. If these numbers are not the same, it's very simple. You are going to ask the child, which number is bigger between 1 and 2? And then you remind the child about the number line. If uh, the child actually understood 
how the number line works is going to do well when it comes here. And then you just ask the child, uh, which number is bigger between one and two, the number you underlined. And the child is going to be simple to a child. Okay, two is bigger than one, which means 24 is bigger than 13. So the crocodile is going to eat the bigger number, which is 24. And then even when it comes here again, use the same method. Monkey see, monkey do. Underline the first number, both from your left and your right. Four. Four. What is happening? Oh, they are the same. But you have to finish them all. You have to check all of them. Okay, let's go on. You underline the second one is the tens. They are also the same. Okay, you didn't finish. Go on. You underline the units. Make sure you do both sides so that our scale balances. Oh, they are the same, which means all these numbers are the same. What are you going to use now? We are going to use equal to show that the numbers are the same. Very simple. And then when it comes here, some they can just tell that, okay, on my left, there are two digits and on my right is three, which means the right number or the number on my right is bigger than the number of my left because the the number on my right is a, it has three digits and the the on my left hand it has two uh it has two digits which means it's obvious this 148 is bigger than 38. sometimes we just count how many digits that the number have that's when the child can understand or this is three and these are two, which means this one is bigger. And then let's go to uh, 49 and 94. Look at these numbers. They look the same. To some kids, they look the same. 49 and 94, this is four, it is four, and nine, and nine. To some kids, they look the same. But you're going to use uh, same method. Monkey see, monkey do. You underline the first number. This is four. And then you underline again to your right, nine. And then you ask the child, which number is bigger between four and nine? Oh, nine is bigger. So which means 94 is the bigger number. The crocodile eats the big number. Okay. And then uh, let's take uh, the last one. Remember this line. I mean, this lesson is for standard two, three, four. We started with a uh, simple numbers or uh, smaller numbers and then we just increase the numbers to the bigger number okay so let's do this one let's do 328 compare it with 329 there you go so you're gonna use the same method you underline you underline the numbers remember uh, the numbers on my left, how many digits they have three, and on my right also three, which means we are going to underline the first the number to my left and to my right. Oh, they are the same, three and three. When they are the same like this and uh, uh, the numbers uh, are still there, you continue underlining until you did it. You see the difference. Then you go on, the second number, second number, two and two. That's still the same. Okay, go on until they finish. Eight and nine. Oh, now they are not the same. So now you ask the child, which number is bigger between eight and nine? And the child will identify nine is bigger than eight. So which means 329 is the bigger number. So the crocodile will eat big meat you see it's very simple so please when you introduce this method or when you uh introduce uh this math comparing using greater than smaller than and equal please use monkey see monkey do method because 
our children are not the same. Their thinking capability are not the same. Some kids are fast, some are slow. So let's cater for them. Let us not run with uh, those uh, uh, children who are fast learners. Let's cater all the children. So I encourage you even at home, don't compare your kids. Don't compare your kids. Try by all means when you help your child, you find or you look for a simpler method of uh, teaching to cater for that child. Thank you very much and God bless you. So now I am going to give you an exercise here that you are going to write it. Exercise on comparing. Okay? Compare 64 with 46. Compare 384 with 384 with 387. Compare uh, 10 with 18. Compare 208 with 208. Don't worry about big numbers. Please use the method that I was using. Underlining. Or you can use 1,000, 100, tens and units. Okay? For standard 2s is 100, tens and units. Standard 3 is 100, tens and units. And standard 4 is 1,000, 100, tens and units. You can use that. You can use this method of underlining. Okay? Uh, it's very easy. So compare... Uh, 18 with 81 compare uh, the last one compare <laughs> let's compare 0 with 2 excellent so this is your exercise uh, take your your math book exercise book and do this exercise and when you are done with it Send it to our WhatsApp number uh, on 72263688. That's where I will see your feedback. Then I will give you uh, the, I will mark your work. Okay. Thank you very much and God bless you.